Hi and welcome to the Low Content Japanese Puzzle Resources. I'm your coach Ron Pumfleet. I will be taking you through how to best utilize the Crossword Express software. In this case I'm going to be showing you how to brand your Japanese puzzles and stop getting slapped by Amazon uh, saying that your uh, puzzles or products are readily available on the internet. Uh, I've had that happen to me a lot uh, until I've actually started branding my puzzles. So what you need to do when you open up your software is to uh, navigate through to the um, build section where it says start a new puzzle and then that will bring up this dialog box to the puzzle uh, description. So I'm going to get rid of this because I've already uh, filled it in. Um, what I've done here is with the file name I just copied and pasted it from the Sudoku puzzle. Uh, this by the way is, is empty uh, except for this part here and then I filled in my author and I put the puzzle number down in here as well. So what happens is when you've um, say you've created your 200 puzzles and you now want to do the branding so you, you put your, the, the puzzle number where I put them here and when it starts printing out it'll put your author wherever you've, you've put it whether it's at the top or whether you put it at the bottom at the bottom, at the bottom um, and it'll put in the puzzle number now this is a, a, a date uh, the software is actually uh, set up so it creates the puzzles on a uh, yearly uh, date um, format so all I've done is I bring this back to as earliest of time as possible um, you know because I create 5, 10, 15,000 puzzles at a, at, at a go uh, and I get confused if it starts off on today's date which would be 2020-04-01 uh, I don't read my, my date well actually it would be backwards that's what I do with the numbering of the, uh, of the puzzles so I'll cover that in this video as well uh, when you're in the build section after you've actually uh, set up all your information in here and you've clicked OK then I'm just going to say yes uh, then when you go into build options where it says how many puzzles you want you know if you're going to create like I do um, 10,000 at a time um, that's because I do a lot of books if you only want to do 200 that's fine we'll start off at 200 and you'll see this weird ass number in here well that's that's all done by date I don't like that uh, I'd far rather go back to the earliest 100101 and then it'll just create the number of puzzles I want using those numbers unchecked very difficulty on the seven day basis and of course here you can change this you know go from difficulty one to whatever the symbol set excuse me is, is what uh, is used in here to create Sudoku um, another video on that so we're just going to click OK so that you can now see why I actually put the dating system in here as 100101 all right so that's how to brand your Japanese puzzles and stop getting slapped by Amazon good luck if you have any questions about this video just plonk them in the down below and I'll answer them as uh, soon as I can. Thanks for watching. I'm out of here. Bye for now.